Representative Lane. Mr. Chair, um, on the basis of what Representative Paymar said about uh, the amendments advancing human rights, not limiting them in the past, I would like to offer an oral amendment. Uh, Representative Lane, state your oral amendment. On page, on line 1.19, change recognition to limitation. And on 1.20, between marriage and solely, add the words to be. So that it reads, limitation of marriage to be solely between one man and one, one woman. Oh, Mr. McCormick, could you read that back for the committee, please? Mr. Chair, the amendment is to delete on line 1.19 the word recognition and to insert the word limitation on line 1.20 to insert between the word marriage and the word solely the words to be. The resulting sentence would be limitation of marriage to be solely between one man and one woman. And I would ask for a roll call. Further, oh, I'm sorry, Representative Lane. Um, a few weeks ago, my Senator Barb Goodwin suggested amending this to be one union between one man and woman, one woman, uh, no divorce. Her point was clear, if this is about the sanctity of marriage, if it's about traditional morality, then that would include no divorce. And no one voted for that. Clearly this is not about the sanctity of marriage, but it is about discrimination, it is about limitation. Uh, family policy belongs in our shared cultural discussion and work, not in the Constitution. And if we're to offer this, let's just make it clear that we are limiting. <laughs>